folks and welcome to another video. There's been a lot of talk in the media about the Panama Papers and the role New Zealand foreign trusts might have played in hiding illicit funds from around the world. We have heard reassurances from our Prime Minister that these uh, trusts are not likely to have been abused. But then there's been an independent review by tax expert John Shewan who's come to a somewhat different conclusion and he's made some recommendations. If Mr Shewan's recommendations are implemented, the bad old days of New Zealand foreign trusts are likely to be over. So what is a New Zealand foreign trust and why were they attractive to those keen to hide illicit funds? Well here's how they typically worked. A non-New Zealand tax resident, whether or not with nefarious intentions, could have a lawyer set up a New Zealand trust with a New Zealand trustee. Control is exercised in New Zealand because that's where the trustee is. But under our tax law, the trust is foreign because the settlor is non-resident. Typically, all the trust's assets are put to work outside New Zealand, thus ensuring the trust derives no income in this country. Now, hey presto, Section HC 26.1 of the Income Tax Act comes into play. This says that foreign sourced income that a New Zealand resident trustee derives is exempt from tax if no settlor of the trust is a New Zealand resident. So there we have it, a New Zealand trust with a New Zealand trustee, which earns foreign sourced income that our income tax legislation does not consider to be taxable. But how do the beneficiaries get their hands on the cash? Well, very conveniently, a distribution of foreign sourced income to a non-resident beneficiary is not taxable in New Zealand either, and the identity of the beneficiaries can remain secret. Mr Sherwin recommends a register of foreign trusts and the full disclosure of their beneficiaries. If implemented, I'm sure this will take the gloss off any secretive activity that might be happening, and the industry surrounding the New Zealand foreign trusts will hopefully move on. Thank you for listening, and please hit the subscribe button below for more video updates as they happen.